जय जय रघुवीर समर्थ हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रोहित बापट टुडे वी विल सी माय इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ मनाचे श्लोक दैट इज वर्सेस फॉर माइंड कंपोज बाय श्री समर्थ रामदास स्वामी श्लोक नंबर थर्टीन फर्स्ट वी विल सी द श्लोक इट सेल्फ एंड देन विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ इट लेट एस टेक अ लुक एट द श्लोक फर्स्ट मना सांग पारावणा काय झाले अकस्मात ते राज्य सर्वे बुडाले म्हणोनी कुडी वासना सांडी वेगी बळे लागला काळ हा पाठी लागी सो फ्रेंड्स दिस श्लोक बेसिकली टॉक्स अबाउट the bodily desires bodily lust and what is the result of it what is the outcome of that desire that lust and while explaining that samarth ramdas swami gave an example of ravana now if if you have read about ramayan where lord shri ram uh, fights a battle fights a war with ravana the big reason is uh that ramana who is is a rakshas who is a demon king uh he had abducted wife of lord shri rama that is sita now there are various interpretations like we have the leelas and we have puranas to talk about many different things but the story itself is that ravana grew lust or desire to have sita as his wife now we all know that this is adharmic this is a sin to put your eyes on somebody else's wife this is not right it is not correct now the ultimate result of that lust of that desire unfounded desire was that the lanka or the kingdom of ravana got destroyed completely ravana was killed his son was killed his entire army was killed his brothers were killed everyone was killed the kingdom was destroyed people lost their lives and everything was gone and to mind you for those who do not know ravana was a learned person he was not somebody who was un educated he was a learned person he actually knew the vedas the uh, teachings of dharma inside out but unfortunately he grew this bodily lust he grew this desire the unfounded desire basically and that destroyed everything he had so this is what the shlok starts with that mana sangapa ravana kay jhale so assuming that everyone knows the end result of ravana or the ultimate uh, fate that ravana suffered and this is what samartha is asking the mind or samas samartha are telling us to ask our minds like oh mind tell me what happened to ravana have you read the story of ravana do you know what happened with ravana do you know what happened to ravana this is basically a reminder or setting the premise of the shlok is that if you behave like ravana be sure rest assured that everything that you have done everything you have achieved so far will be destroyed will be taken away everything will be gone मना सांग पा रावणा काय झाले ओ माइंड टेल मी व्हॉट हॅपन टू रावणा अकस्मात ते राज्य सर्वे बुडाले अकस्मात मीन्स सडनली इन अ फ्लॅश ते राज्य मीन्स दॅट किंगडम सर्वे मीन्स एव्हरीथिंग ऑल बुडाले बुडाले लिटरल ट्रान्सलेशन मीन्स ड्राउंड बट इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन दिस मराठी इट बेसिकली मीन्स गॉट डिस्ट्रॉइड so oh mind tell me what happened to ravana his kingdom got destroyed in a flash suddenly don't you know that 
So this is the underlying question that uh, Samarth Ramda Swami is uh, asking us. Don't you know what happened with Ravana? Now this is this is how practical these verses are. That is why we should learn Manachi Shlok. Everyone should know about this Shlok. Don't you know what happened with Ravana? So the third sentence says, Manoni kudi vasana sandi vegi. Okay, so this is actually the teaching of this uh, of this shlok or the first two sentences at least. Oh mind, don't you know what happened to Ravana? His kingdom was lost. He lost his kingdom in a flash, like in quick time, just like that. And that is why Manoni means that's why or hence Kudi Vasana. Kudi basically means your body, the physical existence, the physical body. Vasana means desire or lust. Sandi Vegi. Sandi means leave or denounce. Vegi means fast. So hence, speedily denounce the bodily lust or desires and desires. Otherwise, you know what happened to Ravana. Because Ravana indulged into bodily lust. That was the reason. People who are not well versed with the teachings of Ramayana blame a lot on Rama or the Sita. But here the actual culprit is Ravana whose lust was the reason why the Ramayana happened. That was the reason why battle were fought. That was the reason why his own kingdom got destroyed. So do not fall into this bodily lust and desires. Denounce those as quickly as possible. This is, I think, as straightforward message as it can be. Denounce your bodily lust as soon as you can, as fast as you can. Otherwise, you know what happened with Ravana. And also, in the last sentence, he says, Bale lagala kalha pati lagi. Bale lagala means, in this context basically, is that with perseverance, till the end. Kalha, kal means kal, kal means death. Kalha means this. Pati lagi means it follows you. Pati lagi is a combination of two Marathi words like part means back. Uh, of your body and lagi means uh, to to move basically it will move behind your back something like that so it means it will follow you with force with perseverance till the end the death will follow you till the end your end will get closer to you so oh mind don't you know what happened with Ravana now this is a very interesting verse because it directly talks with us Directly, directly talks with the with the reader or the student. Like, don't you know what happened with Ravana? And see, see how interestingly the shlok is built because it is it is more like a conversation than really this is the truth, that is the truth. It is really a conversation. Oh my, don't you know what happened with Ravana? His his kingdom was lost. He lost all his glory. He lost all the good deeds he could have done. He, he lost all his good deeds he had done in the past. All the punya he acquired, all the dharma he acquired till that time got destroyed. Now we remember Ravana not as a, uh, a student or a learned person. We remember Ravana as a demon, as a bad person. As a person who could not control his lust, could not control his bodily desires. And hence, his kingdom was lost. And that is why, denounce your bodily lust as soon as you can. Now, there is another aspect to this uh, shlok. Now, this is my interpretation, this is my experience. Is that whenever we or anyone indulges into bodily lust or desires the human psychology is such that you get distracted from your goals now when I say desires people take wrong interpretation of uh, Sanatan or uh, Hindu scriptures that it basically says leave everything 
and be an ascetic all your ta- all your life no it does not mean that because samarth ramdas swami always said be a good human being be a good family person do your duty do your role in the society so he never said denounce everything and go in the jungle he never said that so when we say the lust or the desires here now the bodily lust unfounded desires now you can desire to to have a better life there is nothing wrong in that you can desire to get more education there is nothing wrong in that you can desire to earn more money there is nothing wrong with that so what is this desire or the lust samartha is talking about according to me this lust this desires these are bodily desires entirely selfish desires that do not take into any one's uh, consideration into account it does not take any social or dharmic or the righteous considerations into account these are the bodily lusts and desires that we should be denouncing as soon as we can otherwise they will take you down imagine a person we we'll, we read the newspaper every day right for example if a person who is famous who everyone knows let us say as a good person for argument sake and he gets involved into some really bad stuff really bad controversy that that uh, has to deal with the bodily lust what will happen to his image or her image what will happen to that it will get destroyed people will not remember anything good that they have done all they will remember is that person got indulged in bodily lust and destroyed whatever life he had built or the kingdom he had built now this is what happens and it will follow you till your death so it's better to keep away from that it's better to not getting indulged into that so this was my interpretation of the shlok uh, please let me know if you have any questions or concerns i'll be happy to answer them if you like this project please do uh, hit like and uh, share this video with many of those who want to learn about life in general and about manachi shlok or verses for mind in particular but do not have understanding of marathi so that's why i'm having this project interpretation in english so that people who do not understand marathi can uh, get benefit uh, out of these shlokas and and learn something if you like this uh, project if you like this uh, initiative please do subscribe to my channel as well next time i'll come with the next shlok till then jay jay raghuveer samarth